Hey guys, welcome back to another review. And today we got the Black Series uh, Star Wars Bad Batch Hunter figure. So yeah, um, here's a funny story uh, how I found this guy. I was originally going to order him off of eBay, but I thought, see all the prices, okay, too much. So I decided to wait until like, maybe the end of like, my trip to San Diego is to like, find them. And so before we go on, this is being filmed, like, filmed during August 2021, this review. So yeah, so this might come out years later. Or months, or days, weeks, I don't know. So yeah, uh, how, how I found them, um, actually it was not me who found them like right away, it was actually, uh, we were at the Tully Thomas store at um, Escondido, California, I think I just said that wrong, okay? And so we're all, we're like Marvin, Jerry, uh, Ryan Tron 12, a TDLR critic, a Tuxter Attentifies, at NRW 06 music, and then we're like walking, like like going down the escalator to the first floor to go back to the car. But we were like, we kind of, they're all like, we were like, you know, we're gonna get smoothies, we're gonna just stop by, go to smoothies. So then we see a comic book store, we're like, okay, let's just walk in quickly and get some comic books. So we do that. So they're, so they're going, they're like getting comic books. I'm like looking around, see the Black Series stuff comes out for Star Wars. And well, I found this guy, hoping to find the other, like, um, Clone Force 79 guys. Like, you know what? Hunter's a good one to start with. Since he is a sergeant, so... Yeah. Alright? So, yeah, Hunter is one of my favorite figures from, like, the Bad Batch. And I'll let you guys go ahead and read this in the back. So, yeah, like, like I said, like, Hunter and Crosshair were released, like... So, that's so why they're... Hunter's my favorite, but, like, Crosshair is, like... I feel like Hunter and Cross are just like a tie for me for my favorites. And it's like an echo record like in the, the bottom. So yeah. Um, Hunter was released in May 2021 with Crosshair then. Tech was next and then uh, record and the Imperial Crosshair version. And then the Captain Rex in his uh, post Clone Wars like figure before Rebels. So yeah. It's good that you guys took a look at it. I am not going to take him out of the box because... I feel like I would lose the DC-17 uh, blaster pistol, because I don't know the place where I could put it in there. It comes with a vibrate blade, removable helmets, a backpack, which is blocked by the comics and stuff, like um, price tag, $26.99. And I, I keep forgetting the name of this blaster. Someone put in the comments saying, like, tell me what the name of this blaster is, Arya. So yeah, actually, he's a great, he's a great figure. Um, his character, I think, is... I feel like it's inspired based off of Rambo. So yeah. Then we got him in the armor, which is awesome. You get like scratch marks on it. So he's been like through war. Um, I probably, maybe like sometime before, well, I feel like cause the reef is gonna come out years after, like after 2021 20, or months. I, I don't know. Like this is being filmed in August. I feel like I'm, I'm gonna, probably gonna have him out of the box and weather it up a bit. But yeah. Honestly, I have to give it like a, a 10 out of 10. It's a pretty cool figure. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great one.